The war criminal held the position of chief of staff of a Russian aviation squadron, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported. According to the main intelligence directorate, Galenkov was involved in missile strikes on civilian targets in Ukraine, in particular, on the Amstor shopping center in Kremenchuk, Poltava region. At the time of the attack on June 27, 2022, there were about 1,000 people in the shopping center. As a result of the war crime, 22 people were killed and dozens were injured, the statement said. The GUR also claims that Galenkov is responsible for a missile strike on a residential building in Dnepr on January 14, 2023, which resulted in the deaths of 46 civilians, including six children. The body of Russian war criminal Dmitry Galenkov was found with multiple head injuries, likely inflicted with a hammer, the Ukrainian Special Service said in a statement. Dmitry Galenkov is the chief of staff of the Russian Air Squadron, which is based at the Shaikovka airfield and is armed with two 22M3 bombers. Galenkov, 52, is involved in missile strikes on Ukrainian civilian targets. Western intelligence agencies suspect that main directorate of the Russian intelligence sent incendiary packages that caught fire before they were loaded onto planes in Leipzig and Birmingham cities in Germany and UK respectively. The incidents occurred in July. The packages containing incendiary substances somehow passed security inspections. German authorities warned this week that a plane could have been downed if the devices, which were both sent by air, had ignited in flight. German intelligence service chief Thomas Haldenwang told German MPs the package would have resulted in a crash if it had caught fire mid-flight. According to the intelligence services, the purpose of such actions is to intimidate Europeans and create chaos. The incidents with parcels came after MI5 boss Ken McCallum warned that Russia is intent on causing mayhem on UK streets. The security agency's director general said Britain should expect to see continued acts of aggression here at home from Russia, with its military intelligence agency, the GRU, on sustained missions, adding, we've seen arson, sabotage and more. Brandon Fried, executive director of the Air Forwarders Association, which represents the air freight industry in the US, described the incendiary bomb incidents as disconcerting given the suspicion of Russian state involvement. It looks like the goal is simply to disrupt the supply chain, create havoc and simply to scare people. They want people to lose confidence in the system, Fried said, adding that the industry had developed robust and evolving security procedures since September 11 attack. The large-scale military factory struck by Ukrainian drones deep in Russia on Sunday was involved in manufacturing key weapons that helped Russia continue waging its war against Ukraine. Namely, the factory was producing explosives, aircraft and artillery shells, aircraft bombs, including KAB, warheads for cumulative anti-tank guided missiles, and warheads for air defense missile systems. The state-owned Sverdlov plant in Zerzinsk city Russia's Nizhny Novgorod region came under Ukrainian attack on the night leading to Sunday. The operation to strike the factory was carried out by the security service of Ukraine known as SBU, the Special Operations Forces and Ukraine's Military Intelligence Agency. The factory that is 900 kilometers from Ukraine, had been under EU and US sanctions since 2023 as it manufactured products that are used to wage war in Ukraine. The SBU has worked to strengthen sanctions against the Sverdlov plant. We have added drones to economic sanctions, which have an immediate effect. Work on reducing the enemy's military capabilities will continue, a source within the SBU has said.